Hello, welcome everyone. Let's talk about installing Python, OpenCV and other packages in a virtual env and using JupyterLab in Windows. The use of virtual env is to maintain more than one version of Python and other packages in the same system. JupyterLab helps us to code in a web-like interactive environment using so-called Jupyter Notebooks and you can have uh, code as well as information using this markup language in this uh, Jupyter Notebooks. Also using Jupyter Lab, you should be able to connect to a server elsewhere so that you can have fast execution if that server is a, a better machine than yours. So today we are specifically talking about installing them in Windows. Okay so the plan is like this let's uh, first install python and test it and then install virtual in package and create a virtual environment called cv for our computer vision work and activate this cv virtual environment you must activate it before you install other packages otherwise these packages will go to uh, the main python folders scripts folder so you activate it and then you start installing the packages that you want like numpy, matplotlib and opencv python and then you install jupyterlab and we'll run jupyterlab afterwards and we can test our opencv install other packages and optionally see how to use visual studio code briefly okay let's get started let's first install python now to install python you go to python.org and then when you point to downloads uh, you would be able to see a uh, download for windows python 3.9.0 in this case and then when you download that you will download the 64-bit version because my machine is a 64-bit machine and then you click this executable uh, to have it running and we will not click install now but we will uh, go for the custom option and we will add the python 3.9 environmental variable as well uh, so that we can run commands in the python uh, folder from our command from from anywhere okay uh, so you click that and then uh, you select these options over here and then here we have to be careful not to install uh, right here where uh, the install is proposing we will actually install it uh, also not here uh, we will install for all the users uh, you, it is your choice but we will actually install c python 39 folder without any spaces all right then the installation will progress and then it will say setup was successful and then you can click that as well and then we are done so once we are done with installing python you can click your windows icon then you can see the idle icon over there when you click that you go into idle and you can see the python version over there you can type some command like print 3 plus 4 and hit enter and it will display 7 which is correct so now you know that your new python is working for you uh, so let's uh, look at the, the environmental variable so we'll type e and b and you can click this system environmental variables and there you click uh, this environmental variables button uh, then you would be able to see the user environmental variables as well as system environmental variables so if you look at that system environmental variables uh, you would be able to see uh, that this python 39 scripts is already there and python 39 uh, is already there uh, in the environmental variables what that means is any executable in those folders can be run from anywhere uh, using the command prompt all right now let's uh, create the virtual env uh, this step is important if you want to have more than one version of python and other packages existing coexisting in your system so you start the command prompt by uh, typing cmd over here and then uh, when you are in the command prompt you can uh, cd uh, to uh, c a colon backslash python 39 and you go to that folder and from there you can type python minus mpp install virtual n so once you install virtual n you will see some files being downloaded and installing 
and it will say successfully installed optionally you can upgrade pip also so which i did python minus m pip install minus minus upgrade pip and that was also uh, successful uh, then uh, after that if you do a dir to see the contents of this python 39 directory you will be able to see the python executable as well as the scripts folder okay then if you go to the scripts folder and do a dir you will be able to see the virtual end.exe so as uh, both python 39 as well as python 39 slash scripts are in our environmental variables we would be able to run this virtual end command from anywhere so this is uh, what we would do uh, we'd go to python 39 folder this is a mistake and then type virtual end cv so cv is the name that i want to give to my virtual environment you can uh, choose the name that you like uh, cv is for computer vision all right so it will create the virtual environment when i enter and then uh, once the virtual environment is created if i uh, do a dir in my python 39 folder you will be able to see the folder called cv so this uh, folder has been created due to the command that i executed uh, so if you uh, go inside the cv and you do a dir from there you will be able to see the scripts folder inside the cv folder as well so within the scripts folder also there will be a python exe file okay uh, so this is the cv scripts folder and then you can see the python exe as well as this activate so now remember this folder is not still there in the environmental variables so therefore you cannot you cannot run this activate or this python uh, from anywhere using the command prompt except from here okay uh, so uh, so i think i added that folder to the environmental variables anyways so you can try it out so you are here and then try activate uh, cv and then it will activate open c uh, no yes you are right uh, i'm right so i did not uh, put that in the environmental variables so therefore when i say activate cv uh, you activate is not recognized as a command so therefore i have to go into the scripts folder and there I say activate then uh, this important prompt appears within parenthesis cv uh, so unless you see this prompt you are not in that environment so before installing any package you must activate and go into that environment which is signified by parenthesis and cv then i can start installing other packages first let's install numpy so i you see uh, the prompt is there then now i know that i am in the cv virtual environment i type pip install numpy okay and numpy will be downloaded and installed successfully installed numpy version 1.19.4 and then i can uh, install matplotlib it will download many files and install then i can install pip install opencv hyphen python so it will install opencv python and then see uh, i'm always in the a cv environment uh, then we can install pip install jupyter lab so it will take a bit of time and it will install uh, so after installing jupyter lab we can run jupyter lab to run jupyter lab we can type the command uh, jupyter lab so if it does not run that means uh, you have to add the uh, this No, I think it would run because I'm in, in the virtual environment. So it will uh, print a whole lot of text, and but it will give you this link to the Jupyter server that would be run. You can copy and paste it, or it will automatically open a browser window like this. Uh, 
uh, then you select Python 3 as the kernel and uh, you can click this uh, to open a Jupyter Notebook uh, so I have this untitled ipython notebook and then here I type a command print 4 plus 5 and then click this little play icon and then you would be able to see 9 as the answer so therefore our uh, Jupyter lab is working with the python so if I say exclamation mark pip list uh, so it will display these packages uh, like Jupyter lab mat.lib numpy and opencv that we installed okay to now test our opencv I can have this small program uh, so matplotlib inline is this magic command to have it displayed on the notebook itself uh, so I import opencv saying import cv2 as cv uh, then matplotlib and uh, see I want to open this butterfly.jpg image you can see my ipython notebook is over here then the butterfly.jpg is also in the same folder so otherwise you have to give uh, the right folder a path uh, for the program to find it then I display and uh, I should be able to see it by when I click this button I should be able to see this answer okay so now we are done with uh, Jupyter lab so you can rename that if you like test open cv .ipython notebook by right clicking here and picking the rename command okay now to quit the uh, Jupyter lab you have to press ctrl c twice over here go back to the uh, command window and type ctrl c twice then it will shut down the kernel okay so you can install other packages if you like in the same environment like scikit-learn or machine learning pandas for data frames and seaborn for displaying graphs and so on that are nice for this uh, data science work and the pip install scikit-learn scikit-learn and then pip install pandas for installing pandas and pip install seaborn for seaborn and pip install stats models for stats models you can install them and you have your environment uh, ready uh, with all these packages if you want tensorflow also you can go to the tensorflow website and find out what the command is so i think it's uh, pip install tensorflow now if you want to install tensorflow uh, so now let's uh, use visual studio code also uh, so instead of using this browser like environment uh, you can use uh, visual studio code um, to uh, write your code you can use pycharm as well uh, so before doing that i usually add these uh, environmental variables uh, to my cv environment and scripts folder and that that folder itself uh, so now i open my visual studio code uh, then maybe i can go to my coding folder where i had this uh, test open cv dot ipython notebook then remember now it will pick some python executable easiest to found, find so maybe it will select this uh, executable c python 39 python exe that's not what we want so by clicking that you can get this uh, thing displayed uh, please pick uh, python 39 cv scripts uh, python exe uh, that's our virtual environments python executable uh, the, if you do that then you would be able to run this uh, open cv program all right uh, so that's the end uh, so we installed python and we tested uh, we installed a virtual environmental environment called cv and this is important if you want to have multiple python versions and multiple versions of packages coexisting on your system and then we activated this environment when we activate remember we had cv uh, displayed before uh, c whatever that you have on in your command prompt cv like this so it's very important to have this uh, before you install any other packages then we installed in numpy matplotlib opencv python and so on then we means we installed jupyter lab also and then we ran jupyter lab and we wrote a simple command as well as displayed an image using opencv uh, that's how we tested the opencv and then we installed some other packages like scikit-learn pandas seaborn stats models and tensorflow 
uh, optionally and then we optionally used visual studio code also uh, to run our programs okay so i hope you understood how to install uh, python and open cv using a virtual environment in windows thank you